Yo, what is up guys? Del Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, it looks like Tyson Fury is close to finalising his opponent for December 5th. It's looking likely that German heavyweight Ajit Kabayel will be Tyson Fury's opponents. Essentially what's happened, uh, the terms have been agreed and Frank Warren has sent a contract to Ajit Kabayel to sign. And yeah, from reports, it looks like this fight is a formality. So yeah, Ajit Kabayel, German heavyweight as we've said. His record is 20-0 with 13 knockouts and he's around 6 foot 3. Kabayel is a relatively decent boxer. He's technically proficient, he's awkward and I would say he kind of fights in like an offbeat rhythm. I would certainly say Ajit Kabayel is a European level fighter. Best win to date, of course, is Derek Chisora. He beat Derek Chisora relatively comfortably. Apart from Derek Chisora, his best wins are Herb Habo and Andre Rodenko. So yeah, Kabayel, in my opinion, good solid European level fighter, relatively good boxer, kind of awkward, unbeaten, and yeah, in his prime. You know, given the fact that Tyson Fury's fight day is just over a month away, I don't personally believe Kabayel is the worst opponent choice in the world. Don't get me wrong, I would have preferred Michael Hunter than Ajit Kabayel. Michael Hunter was my ideal choice, but to be honest with you, I really wasn't expecting Tyson Fury to fight Michael Hunter. But when you look at the rest of the realistic options for December 5th, is Ajit Kabayel any worse than these guys? Absolutely not. We're talking about names like Carlos Takam, F.A. Ajagba, Oscar Rivas. Is Kabayel really worse than any of these guys? Certainly on paper, absolutely not. I mean, for example, Kabayel beat Derek Chisora, who knocked Carlos Takam clean out. F.A. Ajagba's beat absolutely nobody, and he's looked pretty poor in his last few fights. And Oscar Rivas has one sole win over Bryant Jennings. Is Bryant Jennings any better than Derek Chisora? Who's Caballel's best win? Again, no, as far as I'm concerned. So, Caballel, apart from Michael Hunter, arguably is the best opponent available for Tyson Fury. So, I don't really have any problem with this uh, fight or this proposed fight. I'm not really bothered about it. However, would I pay for it? Absolutely not. Uh, Caballel, in my opinion, is not a pay-per-view worthy level opponent. And yet, yeah, if this fight is on pay-per-view, which I expect... I'm certainly not going to buy it. I mean, it would need a very, very strong undercard. It looks like Lyndon Arthur versus Anthony Yard is going to be on the undercard, but I would expect more than that if I were to pay for this card. Caballel, while I think it's an acceptable opponent, if we're talking about pay-per-view, me personally, I would expect somebody a little higher standard. I'm talking about someone like Michael Hunter. I would have purchased that fight, no problem at all. But Caballel... While I think he's decent, while he's certainly European level, I wouldn't pay for Tyson Fury versus Ajit Kabayel without a real, real strong undercard. And yeah, like I said, I don't really expect that to happen. Um, so yeah, ultimately, not the worst opponent in the world. Kind of what I expected at this stage. Kabayel is certainly better than the likes of Tom Schwartz and Otto Wallin, in my opinion. He's certainly more proven. So yeah, Kabayel... Not the worst opponent in my opinion, but like I said earlier, I certainly wouldn't pay for it, uh, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's one of those fights really. I think it's acceptable, but at the same time, not exactly a fight in which gets your blood pumping and super psyched to see. One of those fights in my opinion, I, I would expect Tyson Fury to win this comfortably, either wide on points or a late stoppage. Maybe Tyson Fury is going to struggle like he did against Otto Wallin. There has been a theory going around that Tyson Fury kind of fights to the level of his opposition. And certain fighters do do that. If that's the case with Tyson Fury, maybe Caballel could give him a few issues here and there. But ultimately, I don't really see it. While Caballel is a pretty capable boxer and um, relatively skilled, he's not really a physical specimen. Doesn't carry all that much power, so... Yeah, I, I, I don't really see Caballel posing too many issues for Tyson Fury. But um, there we go. Just my initial thoughts on this fight. I'm, I'm kind of in the middle with it. I think it's acceptable. But 
putting a pay-per-view tag on this sort of fight, in my opinion, is taking the piss uh, by BT Sports, just how I see it. But there we go, just my opinion. I'm kind of a hard ass when it comes to pay-per-view. I'm really picky uh, when it comes to these pay-per-view fights, what I purchase, what I don't. And as far as I'm concerned, Tyson Fury versus Ajit Kabayel is not pay-per-view worthy. And um, yeah, uh, BT really need to deliver a strong undercard. But given Frank Warren stable right now, I don't really expect that. Yard versus Arthur would be a great co-main event, but we need more than that, in my opinion, to make this pay-per-view worthy. But um, there we go. Just my opinion. I'll more than likely stream this fight if it's pay-per-view. Um, yeah, share your thoughts below. What do you make of Ajit Kabayel? I do believe some of the reaction to this has been over the top. I mean, I've seen people say they would rather see Tyson Fury fight Carlos Takam. I mean... When you look at it logically, you know, Derek Chisora knocked out Carlos Takam. Ajit Kabayel comprehensively outboxed Derek Chisora. And, you know, since that Chisora fight, Carlos Takam's looked pretty poor, to be honest. He looks well past his best. So, I don't get why people are saying that Carlos Takam would have been a better opponent. No, he wouldn't have. First and foremost, he's not ranked by the WBC. And if you've seen Carlos Takam fight post Chisora you would realise that this guy is long in the tooth. I mean, in his last fight with Jerry Forrest, he was losing rounds and struggling in that fight. Carlos Takam's not the fighter he was a few years ago. It's plain to see that he's on the slide, so I certainly believe Caballel is a better opponent than Carlos Takam, Ajit Caballel, and he's certainly on par with someone like Oscar Rivas, as far as I'm concerned. But there we go, just my opinion... You know, apart from Michael Hunter, I wouldn't have paid for any of these fights, to be honest. Cabayel, Takam, Zagba, you know, these sort of guys. I wouldn't have paid for any of these fights. So, yeah, just my opinion. It's okay, but not great. One of those things, right? Anyway, share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy, Del Boy. Peace.